Okay, welcome. This is a short video for members and subscribers over at jamesparkergolf.com. So there's a there's a pattern that you see with uh, tour pros, uh, guys that play golf for a living, guys that earn money uh, from playing golf, uh, and that's this. Uh, and I say most because it you know it's not it's not a given. It's not like something that they all do. Uh, but a lot of them do it, especially the guys who are, who are, you know, kind of have one of these modern swings, a very uh, a compact, efficient golf swing. It looks very nice. It's very pleasing on the eye. Uh, there's not too many sort of, um, uh, there's not too much going on that doesn't have to go on. All right, so so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just, uh, I was hitting balls this morning. And I'm, this is just the little little drill that I've got going on and what I'm what I'm think I love that finish there as well it's very Hunter Mahan esque um, so what I'm feeling in a nutshell is just trying to get this club a lot steeper going back and then flatter coming down okay and 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 what you generally tend to find um, with uh, with most with most golfers they they tend to swing it in you know one of three ways you've got the guys who take it back a little steeper and then drop the club head down and bring it back a little shallower and a little flatter right so you can attack the ball more from the inside uh, you've got the guys that are trying to take it up and down on the same kind of plane and you've also got the guys who are who take the club very much on the inside and then come down on the outside now what i would recommend is you if you you know if you want to try and hit the ball from the inside is you try and feel this club head getting high early okay so you're starting to cock your left wrist early so that when you when you when the shaft gets parallel with the ground it's it's going to be fragmented that's a little excessive but you know it's a practice swing i want to feel i want to feel what i'm trying to do so you can see there how that, you know, if I stop it in P3, left arm parallel with the ground, position three, you can see how this shaft is nearly vertical, all right? Uh, get it to the top, you know, I'm quite happy with that position. It's a little across the line, but like I say, it's a it's a practice swing. Um, but then what I'm feeling here is, is that this club head is going to gather Right, what, what do I mean by gather? It's going to feel like it's coming down this way. Now, as you do that, my the butt of the club or my handle or my hands is going to come down this way. Look, there. Right, so, so what I found is the easiest way to get the club in the slot, if you like, and you know, this, this, this there isn't a there isn't a golf teacher out there that doesn't doesn't recognize what the slot is the slot is just very simply this plane of the club coming down right or the sweet spot path if you like a lot of people have referred to it as that and if you watch the pros when they come down it's just the club head getting back down onto that line that the club started on so if that's the shaft angle as you come down that club head finds its way back down onto that line and then travels down that line all the way down into impact there. So you can see how it's coming down that red line. For me, that's the slot, right? But you're not gonna get that club head behind you enough coming down, right? Unless there's some deliberate change of direction at the top. That's what that's what I found, just, just doing this for a long time, doing it for years, teaching a lot of people. So, so for me, the best way is to really try and pronounce this change of direction at the top. There's a lot of wrist cock goes on at the start. It's going to feel very steep as you go back. And then as you come down, it's a lot easier to change direction. We're going from a steeper shaft plane going back to a much flatter shaft plane coming down. Now, you know, the things that I'm feeling as I'm doing this is there's a lot of right arm connection okay so this right arm is very much planted against my torso 
right and then it comes away a little bit at the top not the top bit this is why having a t-peg or a glove or something underneath your right arm and hit balls with it under there is such a great drill that's one of the best drills out there such a simple little thing to do and to, to get some instant feedback most people when they come down will not be able to keep that glove underneath the right armpit all right so going back you keep the glove under your right armpit but you can see how there's a there's a little bit of space underneath where my elbow is so so all of my right upper right arm here obviously isn't attached by the time I get to the top of the swing right it's kind of if you split it up into sections from elbow to shoulder you know you've got your lowest lower third middle third and then your top third well obviously at the top it's just maybe your your top two thirds which are which are connected to your torso but what you want to try and feel coming down now is that all of your all of your upper body starts reattaching to your torso you see here i'm feeling as though all of my upper body is all of my upper arm should i say is reattaching to my torso okay and as i'm doing that that's a great way to to gather the club head get that club head behind you uh, it's also a great way to extern feel that external rotation in that right arm right which most people don't get and also you notice this club head is well well behind me right and like i say that club head what you find with a lot of the pros that club head kind of traces that line down into the ball there right now once we hit impact then what a lot of people do is their hands kind of start moving straight down the not um, well, parallel with the target line maybe kind of over your toes a little bit but what you've also got to remember post impact is that your right arm you want to maintain that connection with your right arm against your torso so in a good golf swing your hands are always going to start swinging left post impact that's why you see you know with the with the best players in the world that that a lot you know, you know their hands are turning around and and they're getting out of sight before that club head does now obviously i i'm exaggerating it here look but what this does is it helps you rotate that club face without rotating your wrist without flipping your wrist so basically you're 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 letting the club face rotate but you're doing it with your pivot right you can see how this right arms attached to them to attached to my the right side of my body now if i'm turning and turning and turning and turning you can see how that club face is starting to rotate right now i'm in, now i'm deliberately kind of holding it off a little bit because i have a problem with flipping it like most people right so i'm deliberately trying to get that let that my hands behind my body and letting that club face rotate with my pivot right you can see when you do that your hands are moving left they're they, they're getting behind my body before my club head and then the club shaft comes out well underneath my left shoulder here all right and then with straight arms straight arms straight arms and then right at the finish then you can let your arms fold a little bit and let the club finish behind your neck so let's look at some uh, let's look at some good examples of guys that do this let's start with probably the best in the business right sergio um, so let's draw a line through his club right and then as he goes back we're going to stop him there right so left arm parallel with the ground p3 that's his shaft position up to the top now watch what the club head does watch this club head watch this club head watch this club head watch this club head that's gathering the club head so as you can see as you're coming down back down to left arm parallel with the ground look at the change in direction of this shaft steeper going back flatter coming down and what you tend to find I mean, this is way underneath the original um the original uh, angle of the of the club of the shaft so he's going to come in you know much more from the inside you know is this is this a bad thing absolutely not absolutely not look at how this club head okay this club head is way behind his hands right 
most amateurs at this point have the club out here and the club head is already out here right so you've got to try and feel this club head gathering right and shallowing out the shaft shallowing out coming down into impact coming through coming post impact yeah, yeah his hand it's a little little straight i mean it also depends on the shape of shot he's trying to hit right but you can see how you know hands are getting behind his body there just before the club head does and again club underneath his left shoulder very important uh, another guy who does it very well something something to do with the spanish guys the spanish guys do it or do it extremely well i'm not sure if it's you know part of part of you know their their culture growing up how the spanish guys teach you know with regards to just you know teaching them right from from when they're a young age saying the club it's got to do this we've got to get the club head behind us coming down right because the club head needs to hit the ball from the inside that's how you hit it straight or just start the ball slightly right but you can see again there's his shaft plane going back right and then big change of direction coming down gathers the club very nicely right and then you know what you tend to find with all these guys is as they start down what we're looking for is the shaft angle being parallel to the angle that you set up right so there's his there's his setup position there's the shaft going back gets it up to the top but then as he gathers the club and starts his downswing right that shaft angle now is parallel with where he starts that to me means he's on plane right there he just carries on carries on that right arm reattaches look that elbows a little that elbows off his torso now his right arm attaches again and then from that position he can turn his pivot really hard as long as his right arm's attached to his body right and it's the pivot which rotates the club face right so he flicked it a little bit there look flipped it a little bit right you can see that club it gets behind his hands a little bit um who else have we got justin rose great you know great example great example and i think this is one of the reasons why he went on and won the won the us open so stop him at p3 but watch that watch the change of direction now there you go watch how that club head gathers the shaft gets shallower and then he comes down there so you can see big difference as he comes down that shaft is parallel with the angle that he started on boom right club hands move behind his body before the club head very passive club face club face rotation and if that right arm's attached to his body that club face is going to rotate through his pivot not through flipping your hands okay it's the pivot it's the right arm being attached to uh, it's the right arm being attached to the body which rotates the club face we do not ever want to feel like we're flipping that club head and flipping our right hand at it the right hand still has to be bent and impact very important uh, another good example hunter mayan love this guy swing love this guy swing so there's the start position going back very deep isn't he with the hands you know very you know really takes the hands inward more than a lot of other tour pros you can see how his hands are moving inward straight away but again there's his shaft angle right p3 left arm parallel with the ground position three but then watch the little change of direction there right there you can just about see it. right arm reattaches right so again you can see how that shaft is just a little bit shallower coming down and then of course the club head gets back on the line comes back down beautiful right and then the let then the club comes and the club comes through very much underneath the left shoulder uh one last uh, example probably the best one of my favorite swings right there's his hands there's the shaft angle um, hands move inward straight away 
right lots of left wrist cock right but you can see here hands are very deep there's the shaft angle and then as he comes down nice change of direction it's a lot easier to change that direction if you go back steeper and you can see all these guys that play on the PGA Tour here they've all got this change of direction getting the club lower bit more behind them more behind the hands coming down and then of course as you see coming down that club heads very close to coming down on that on that line that the shaft started on right as he comes through hands move left there's the best example look hands move behind his body first he's letting that club face rotate by using his pivot not by flipping his hands right very very important okay guys so i hope that's helped you out a little bit if you're watching this on youtube or on my blog uh, over at jamesparkergolf.com please uh if it's on point, as always, please feel free to uh, leave me a comment below and, uh, and let me know what you think. Cheers.